playing quarterback for the Detroit Lions will teach you a lot of things. Oh, yes. But there is no playbook for raising twin girls. I looked for one once. And <laughs> it doesn't exist, much, does it? No. The offseason has been really busy for these new parents, Matthew and Kelly Stafford. Tonight, Bernie Smilovitz has a rare glimpse inside the home of the Lions starting QB. The rebirth of downtown Detroit has been generated through many avenues, but sports has played a vital role. With Little Caesars Arena nearing completion, the Red Wings and Pistons are about to make a new home. That means all four pro sports will be neighbors. As for the Lions, well, they've been downtown since 2002, and Matthew Stafford's been their leader since 2009. Earlier this week, Stafford and his wife Kelly welcomed us into their home to talk about the birth of their twin daughters. Kelly starts things off by talking about what the moment was like. The first thing that went through my mind was, is, are they, is she okay, the first one that came out? Because with twins, obviously, you never know. Um, with There's a lot of, I guess, risk and stuff with twins. So that was the first. When you hear them cry, you expect them to be fine. Um, but that's what's going through my mind the minute they came out. Did you cry? Did you like? Yeah, like uh, I was telling her it was weird because it was. <laughs> I was like, like a laughing, cry laugh. laughing like joyful and crying at the same time. Right. It's kind of a weird feeling to have. It's you know, it's unique. Um, have you uh, ever seen them like that in any no. other? Not, not a big crier. So. No, that's what I figured. You're emotionally, you, you're sort of. Yeah. Very quiet, reserved. You kind of are for sure. who you <laughs> are. That I could see. Yeah. <laughs> Forget there was somebody else in the room. Yeah, right? <laughs> Poor thing. Uh. Quick disclaimer, we were at the Stafford's home for over two hours, and both babies slept peacefully without a sound. As you know, no one in their right mind wakes a sleeping baby, especially when it's twins. That's the first piece of advice. Here's the second. Accept help. Accept help? I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. like... Families in town, whatever, yeah. For and sure, they want to take the babies for a little bit, give them to them. You got to have, you know, a lot of patience. And I have never been that way. She's been great, but it's, you find a new <laughs> new realm of, of patience. And, and uh, you know, especially with two for us, I and mean, we're both pretty much always going. So, um, I don't know, your life changes, but it's a, it's a good way. But how, how do you gain more patience? I, I mean, I think you just kind of have to. You just you know, have no choice. Yeah, right? you know, so, and just kind of accepting that rather than fighting it, you know? Stafford airing it out. Stafford's role in life is to try and help the Lions get to and win a Super Bowl. And he's got another role, which his wife says he's quite good at, and in ways you might not even think of. All right, how's the diaper situation? How's he? He's really good. And it's really funny because whichever one he has tends to poop. <laughs> I promise. Like it is it's really funny. Like we switch Calming off days. Influence. One Calming day influence. one day he'll have Sawyer and then yeah. So the day he has Sawyer she tends to poop a lot and then we'll switch the next day and he'll have Chandler and then I don't yeah. know what it is. Something about his touch, you know? Oh, just makes know. one go number Like two. Mr. Metamucil here or something, <laughs> right? There's yeah. a deal out there somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 